Good morning. For me, it's morning. This is Mrs. Stephanie again with a lesson for you today, class. And first of all, I'd like to begin in prayer. Dear Lord, I just thank you for this time to come together, learn about your word, and learn how we can have life with you. Thank you for those who are listening today. And I pray that your word would speak to all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, the music I've just played for you is from The Lyre, an ancient um, instrument played by a Jewish man today. And if you remember, last week we you talked about um, King David, and he prepared a place for the Ark of the Covenant. As God had commanded before it had not been done as he commanded so David the king the shepherd uh, fulfilled God's promise and did it the way that was expected so God said he would establish his kingdom forever this week we're going to see another aspect of King David the music you heard would easily have been set to the words of the Psalms. We're going to look at a Psalm today. And a Psalm are the words or the lyrics that were once sung in Israel to God. It's also a book in the Bible. If you just open your Bible to the middle of the Bible, you're going to probably be in Psalms. And David was the greatest psalm writer of all. Let's think a little bit about David. He had been a shepherd as a young man, and remember he was in the fields with his flock when he was called to be king. When a shepherd's watching the flock, they have, to, they have no need to fear. Excuse me. When a shepherd is watching the flock, the sheep have no need to fear for wolves and enemies. David's Psalm 23 compares God to a shepherd. So he's connecting back to his days with the sheep in the fields for himself. David's peace comes from God, and God gives us the same protection in unexpected ways as the shepherd does for the sheep. The end of this Psalm 23 is going to be a statement of full faith. So I'm going to read the story now to you called David the Psalmist. It encompasses Psalm 23 and also references from Chronicles 16, 136, 1, 236, and 1 Samuel 16, 14, to 23, and of course, Psalm 23. After the ark of God was brought into the tent, David made for it. King David chose men from the priestly tribe of Levi to lead a worship celebration. David wrote a song and asked Asaph, the chief musician, to sing it. The words of the song told the story of all God had done for Israel. The song ended with a prayer. Save us, O God, our salvation, and gather and deliver us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. First Chronicles 16.35 From the time David was a boy, God had blessed him with musical talents. When Saul was still king and was tormented by an evil spirit, young David was called to play music for him. When David plays his harp, played his harp, the king felt better because the evil spirit would leave. Today, the words for many of David's songs are preserved in the book of Psalms. Psalm is just another word for song. 
and many of David's psalms or songs spoke about this life, the nation of Israel and their relationship to God. Psalm 23 is like that. Here are the words. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are met, excuse me, you are with me. Your rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23. Well, it's fun to compare the words of David's psalms to the Bible stories about his life and wonder which of the events each psalm is describing. For instance, in Psalm 23, David is talking about walking through a valley in the presence of his enemies. Could this be about the time David walked into the valley to fight Goliath? We don't have musical notes that go with different psalms. But the words to David's songs can still help us grow in our faith and walk through the hard times we face in life. Did you notice that the last line of Psalm 23 tells us that David will live in the house of the Lord forever? There is only one way we can live in heaven with God forever, and that is by trusting in Jesus and what he has done on the cross. Often David's Psalms give us a hint of the Lord's coming salvation through Jesus. And some of his Psalms like Psalm 22, are wonderful, wonderful prophecies for telling God's plan to save us through Jesus. Now, just a couple of questions to get that brain going and thinking about what the psalm and the story was about. What had captured David's desires? Well, the Lord had captured his desires, his heart. What had David discovered about God that caused him, that had caused his desire for the world to fade? God's blessing and care caused him to have fading feelings about the world. And another question. Why does the world still capture our affections, or our desire? Well, it's kind of like eating chocolate for me. You tasted it, and you know, and you knew it was good. And I always know it would be. In Psalm 34, 8, David says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that takes refuge in him. You know, David ends Psalm 23 with a statement of faith. He knows God good, God's goodness will follow him. How long? All the days of his life. That's correct. And David will live in the house, in God's house, how long? Well, if you answered forever, you were right. And how does that happen? If our sins are forgiven or are taken away, that's how we live with God in his house forever. David looked forward to that day. And anyone can live with God if his or her sins are taken away. Let's pray. Lord, I just thank you for your word. 
and in particularly the Psalms from King David. What wonderful truths we have in them. Let the word speak to those watching today. The Lord is my shepherd. Five beautiful words of life. Bless those listening, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. Take a listen.